When you hear of examination malpractice, primary school hardly comes to mind. Sadly, this criminal act is now a mainstay in many of our schools. This act is an open secret amongst parents and teachers. During the NECO organized federal common entrance examination, parents and teachers waiting for the award at Government College Victoria Island discussed this idiot's act. My wife is a teacher. He teaches from one school in our area there. He always knows why. He said that the proprietor of the school will say that those children must pass. Is it? On that must. He will know to mark it, he must pass. Private school? Yeah. What is all this? Any unethical practice or act that is going to give undue advantage to any student or any pupil over others. I know that at least where primary school pupils are going into secondary school, that is the, all these common entrance examinations and entrance examinations to secondary schools, a lot of uh, math practices do occur at such, during such examinations. The exam math practices being done where some ch uh, pupils are doing them um, the, um, the national common entrance into federal government colleges are bad because um, as a teacher, as we, we are not allowed to come in, but it's when our students come back from the exam hall that they come to say such. In this undercover report, I unearth the sordid details of our civil servants, school owners and teachers lead various examination frauds. How they freely sell certificates, including the first school living certificate. How they hire on the eight children as mercenaries to sit for common entrance examination. Inadvertently, indoctrinating thousands of children into the world of cheating. The, the team is just evolving on a daily basis, if I may say so. Um, you have situations where my practice is no longer the discretion of pupils or students. It, is, it has become an organized crime, it become a money-making thing. You understand? It becomes a, a syndicated affair whereby the pupils and the students are just are now just um, um, instruments for making money. Anytime they are caught cheating, they should not do the exam, they should just tell them. I'm always feeling bad when they are caught saying that they really studied well. I don't really like when people are doing examination malfacting because in future when they are meant to do things on their own, they might not be able to do it very well and then they will not do well in what they were doing. Because when they were small, they were doing examination malfacting. So I feel sad for them. My investigation took me to Araromi Baptist Children's School, where for 68,000 naira, the head teacher, Mrs. Adebisi Oluwaremi, sold the certificate and the testimonial of the school. I had told the head teacher that I needed the certificate to apply for a scholarship for my son who lives abroad. It was an easy buy just the way you walk into a supermarket and pick an item off the shelf. Mrs. Adebisi did not for once hesitate, except for the time I tried to bargain for a cheaper price. So, 
Mrs. Adebisi is not the only educator. Breaching the trust we post in her, several other teachers and ed teachers freely indulge in different forms of examination forms. Shegun Latunji, the proprietor of Oniville Primary School, took a sum of 120,000 naira to issue testimonial and arrange another child who impersonated my supposed nephew who was registered in the school for the Lagos State Common Entrance Examination. He hired his own nephew, 13-year-old Samuel Olatunji, to do the job. Samuel had been told what name to put on the examination sheets. Getting the first school living certificate is also not off the market. With 15,000 naira, Ajeni Fuja Kazin, who is a staff of the State Universal Basic Education Board, sold a first school living certificate to me. The head teacher of Dean Master, Dr. Wolabi, also recruited one of the students in his school to sit in for my supposed son. He also issued 10 result sheets for a child who was supposedly living in Canada. Then you come to the issue of certificates. There's a lot of forgery. That's a, to, today, if people may not, if people can even decide not to go to school, but they present certificates. All these things are matched to uh, the, the corruption and the, the malpractice that we are talking about. <laughs> Please flash. 